I noticed you have braces. I have braces too. Get away from her, you... Sister's plant from the Mediterranean can spontaneously burst into flame. I don't know what happened. A switch went off in my brain and all of a sudden I just got really obsessed with plants. I love them. Can a lady just not have some plants? I'm gonna tell all of you at Harvard why I'm gonna make an amazing lawyer. What's up, dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? It is I, Rachel, your plant madam, and I am pulling out of a sketchy ass car wash because, you know, nobody needs to know where I live and stuff like that. So for today's video, I wanted to go shopping with you guys at Lowe's. Last time we went to Walmart, I want to go to Lowe's today. Um, I'm not really quite ready yet to show you guys like all the death and destruction that occurred during my health scare slash depressive episode slash existential crisis. And you know, I'm going through a stage right now of trying to let go of what happened, let go of the things that I lost try to be okay with it, you know, um, I know that over the course of making plant sales and things like that last year and the year before, I feel like I probably, if not completely, I probably came close to paying for every plant that I ever bought with plant sales. So I don't feel like, you know, um, I lost a ton of money or anything, which I would have probably been too devastated to deal, to deal with anyways so I'm glad that's not the case so you know I'm just trying to relax into the fact that um, I had real issues like real physical and mental issues that I was going through um, I didn't reach out and ask anybody for help with the plants at home which I could have I don't know it was like a weird form of self-punishment like not taking care of the plants like I like almost like I wanted I wanted my plants to like reflect how I was feeling on the inside which was very bad like I was feeling very bad um you know I just was having a moment there and not every month out of every year is our best and that those three months were not my best from where I had my health scare which you guys can go back and watch um, that video if you haven't seen it yet. If you're a new person to my channel, hi, my name's Rachel and I make plant videos and all that crap. So um, if you're interested, please subscribe and like this video, support your girl. Um, but anyways, so actually my health update um, from all of that, I just got recently. So I had my three month checkup. I'll try to link the video. Um, here or over here about my health scare a trigger warning you know there's some pretty intense subject matter so if you're not into that don't go watch it but I actually had my gynecology checkup my three month checkup and um, which I was extremely nervous for I'm not gonna lie even though everything came out the way it was supposed to come out you know everyone's nervous for their checkups so I was nervous for mine and um, I went in and actually Casey went with me it was like the first time that I've ever had a man in the room while I was getting a pap smear it was seven different shades of fucked up okay <laughs> so <laughs> But I was so relieved for him to be there. Like, oh my God, I'm so glad that he was there. I'm so glad that he was there. I was so nervous and so tense. I, I probably, I think I might have thrown up that morning. I'm not sure. I get weird when I'm really stressed out. But I got my results back from that. And I'm all in the clear. Everything's good. So my next um, gynecology appointment is in one year, which is a huge relief for me. 
Um, so that is something that we can all celebrate. As the sun is out today, what is the freaking temperature? 67 degrees. Good health news. Spring is right around the corner. Um, so that's my health update, okay? It's all good, we're all good. Um, so far, so far so good, you know? I mean, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna go get taken out in this world, but apparently it's not gonna be that and it ain't gonna be today. So, um, we have nothing but things to be happy about and we have nothing but things to be thankful for and I wanted to thank you guys for all the good vibes and prayers and things that you sent to me while I was going through it because when I put out that video, the reason why I put it out um, about my health scare was because it was so out of left field for me and I wasn't expecting it and I didn't have any symptoms of anything wrong with me and you know then I just got scared for all like my lady viewers because I know from looking at my demographics that all the people that watch my channel are ladies that are in on or around the same age as me right and so if it could happen to me it could happen to anybody and I really neglected my um, gynecological health because I didn't have like any outward problems or anything and you can't do that you have to go get your yearly checkup if you haven't been getting your yearly checkup please go get your yearly checkup okay because it's deathly important life and deathly important that you go do that and um, I'm on top of all of my health stuff now so I used to have like some complaints about like like how I was feeling mentally like these mental struggles for the past three months or whatever have been external you know what I'm saying like I had a health issue that caused me to have some issues in other ways you know what I mean but before that I was kind of having some internal issues so you know I feel like um, those are all those issues are being addressed now like I'm taking my health proper serious like proper proper serious um, you know, I don't know if you know, if you've been watching for a long time, you know, Casey got diagnosed with diabetes last year, I think it was, and pretty much like a combination of that plus my health scare that I had was just enough for me to be like, all right, I'm done screwing around and I need to just like every test that you need to do don't do on me because of my age go ahead and do it, you know, um, I'll be 39 in October, you know, so it's like not a lot more testing needs to be done, but I'm keeping on top of it, um, I'm talking to a primary care physician, which usually I would only just pop in and see a, you know, a pro-med doctor every now and again, because I just don't get sick very often, you know what I'm saying? Anywho, soul, um, so yes, everything's good, all good things, and thanks to you guys and all your good vibes and prayers and things like that we're feeling much better um on the plant front um like i was saying earlier on the plant front like i was really considering just doing a complete and total no buy for this year i mean i don't know Probably because I was wanting to punish myself for n neglecting my plants and letting a lot of them die. And I don't know, you know, I don't know if that's right of me to like punish myself like that. Um, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys ever struggle with thoughts like that. Like, if you let a plant die, you're like, well, I just can't allow myself to, you know, purchase or do anything now because I'm a huge loser and I let a plant die, you know. But, I don't know. That's probably just me beating myself up a little too much. Um, but, uh, long and short of it is, if I see a cute-ass plant in Lowe's, like an orchid or something that I like, I'm buying that shit. Um, I take back everything that I said. I completely lied. I'm not doing <sighs> For me to ever think that, like, a no-buy was something that I was going to do is a joke. I don't know. Me and Grandma over here trying to decide who's going first. Should I go to Starbucks? No. No, we'll save our money. We'll make an espresso at home. We'll make an espresso at home. But, um, 
and also also I've got some exciting they don't have like arrows on this parking lot so it's like a free-for-all um I've got some exciting content I hope coming up for Rachel's so-called life I've been working on like <laughs> my video of like how I lost 20 pounds over there forever. I'm never satisfied with it. Like I keep trying to put music montages with it and stuff and it just, I'm never happy with it because I see like all these big videos that people do where they lost weight and they just look so professional and my video editing is just not like that. But anyways, hoping to put that out soon. And then um, directly after that, I've got like a Fashion Nova haul that I've already filmed and um a nail video that i filmed a long time ago that i haven't let it put out yet but i'm back on my grind at least i'm trying to be i'm trying to be i'm trying to be um i made a video last week and i'm making a video this week so technically i'm back on my shit and uh well so far you know i mean nobody's perfect you know what i mean there's a guy right in front of me and he's just staring at me, talking to my phone. I brought a soda and I didn't even open it. Cause I anticipated being parched. Damn. Oh, Coke Zero hits different. This ain't your mama's Diet Coke. Mm. damn 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 oh yeah one more thing about my health update um in between that three months where i had like the scare and then i had like the follow-up i also had an elective fun more fun type of surgery that wasn't necessary that was just for because i wanted to and i am going to be posting a q a on my instagram um, I have two Instas, one's for plant content, I haven't posted in a while, <laughs> big shock, and one is for fitness content, I probably haven't posted over there in a while, big shock, but, um, if you go check out my Rachel So-Called Life Stories, you can ask me questions about said elective surgery, um, because it's a doozy, and I, it was a doozy, and it's, I've only been like, I'm like one month out from that today, from that surgery that I had, um, so go over there and check that out and maybe you can ask me a question and maybe I will answer it on video. So see you inside Lowe's. Okay, so as soon as you walk in, they've got like a couple of bulb selections to choose from. They've got some lilies and they've got some fern stuff, some peonies and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do um, out front. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do roses again. Um, all of my roses like started getting diseased and, and dying off. So, But the fun part about that is like I can pick some new ones. And I saw outside that they had some. I think we're going to check those out on the way out. Um, lots more tubers, um, inside things for like, um, you know, your eating gardens and things like that. And here is where all the houseplant stuff is, which let me just prepare you right now. My Lowe's has never been anything impressive. Okay. It just hasn't, but these Scandapsis, Trebui, Moonlights, so excited to see every time I see them and mine at home it like it doesn't look that great I I agree with some other people it really is not the easiest um it's not like a regular skin dabs to me but they had this other shingling plant here just like they had at Walmart so I was pretty impressed with that some aglionema some un some money plants they had a, a fiddle leaf fig I really like this cute um, Alan Roth collection of pots also. They have little drainage holes with a little silicone plug, which I prefer these days. Um, then you have like a lineup of succulents. I think Lowe's and Walmart probably kill more succulents than, I don't know. It's just, it's a travesty. <laughs> They've got a lot of those like angel, um, I can't remember what they're called, angel something, little varieties, basically a lot of little ivies 
and some uh, green pothos. Come here, Lidu. Um, some aglionema, some zizis. Um, let's see, just yeah, little skinny crotons and stuff like that. Those weird mystery silver pilea plants right there. And a bunch of ferns, which um, I'm a fern killer. I kept one alive for like a full year. And then after that, it was over. Um, some sago palms back there. Overall, I'm going to say this is like a general uh, smattering selection here. The grow lights that they've got out, those are kind of new. I love this trending tropicals collection of hanging things that they had. A couple of ferns in there. They were beautiful. I, I was tempted to really uh, pick one of those up, but I didn't. But I didn't. But I didn't. Uh, all these air plants look dead. Or they're furry ear plants, one of the two. I couldn't tell, but they look dead as hell. And these cacti were so cute. Look at the little, they were called, they said jelly bean on the side, but I mean, who can really be sure? You know what I mean? Um, that cactus back there in the back looked really cute. Another one of these ones labeled jelly bean. And, and that's probably not accurate. Um, and this weird like mermaid tail-ish looking monstrosity. Uh, always tempted by cacti that's a um monk it's not monkey's tail it's a dog's tail cactus i used to have one i killed that too don't tell anybody Shh. um down here on the bottom it's like one more cute thing and then these lucky bamboos looked pretty sad they could all be nursed back to life pretty easy you know what i mean but they just kind of looked pretty sad and down there at the bottom you know uh, even more dying things down there. And when you come around the corner, they have uh, some more money trees, a couple of palms. It was just, like I said, it's not super impressive. They had like a curly type of ivy, which don't ever really buy that and bring it into your house. It's just a pest magnet. Um, I don't really know what kind of thing that is. And I know this is like a peperomia right here. And this one is another ivy. Don't ever buy those. And this one was pretty cool. It wasn't a purple passion plant, but it was like a different variety that they had out this year. Um, I looked at the tag, but I can't remember until I show you the tag what it was. Oh, purple pleasure Marion marinara sauce. I don't know what it said, um, but it's not purple passion. It's purple pleasure. So yeah. Uh, I don't know. I thought about getting that one. And they also had uh, Trandoscantia. And then right behind that, they had one of those baby bunny bellies plants. You guys used to always ask me about um, what was that fuzzy looking plant behind me when we were doing the podcast back in the day. Uh, that's what it is. And yeah, behind there, it just, beyond that, just wasn't really cool or impressive. Every time I go into Lowe's or um, Walmart or Home Depot, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm looking for the like brand new, usually the trending tropical stuff because I've been pretty impressed so far with all the stuff that they've been offering. And every time I go in there, I'm like, ooh, there's some Haworthia right there. Those are really hard for me to keep alive. Succulents and Haworthia, um, they're not super easy as one would believe. So... I don't know. It just never looks as cool. Like if you go watch some other plant tubers, um, like Lowe's tours, they're just so much more impressive than mine. You know, I know I'm from a small town, but damn, um, more just, um, yellow pothos and things like that. Get some pressurized spray bottles back here. Um, this one was cool. This was like a pink arrowhead uh, type of plant. You can tell it's like brand new. They just got it. They hadn't had a chance to murder it yet. Um, and then just a lot of kind of like really sad looking shit <laughs> back here in the back. I don't know. It's always just kind of like depresso, espresso, you know, the live plants version. And this, this says water from the bottom, not from the top. And it's all just dried shit. So I don't know what they're talking about with that. That must have been from something else that was sitting there. And the only half ass interesting thing was this pot that looked like it was um, that magnetic cat eye. But it looked cheap when I picked it up. And a bunch of dying succulents because that's what, that's what they do. They kill that shit down here. 
Um, another thing that here's my another <laughs> here's my next complaint about Lowe's. Every year it's the same pots, you guys. Why? Do they have some never-ending deal that that's just... okay? Uh, there's like three new designs. How do I know this? Because I've been coming and looking every year. There's like three new designs. Okay, they got a Mister, which I think they already had last season. But you, every, I've seen it all. I have seen it all. It is Groundhog's Day with this shit. Kit number one, white pots are out, colorful pots are in. Maximalism is in this year. I declare it so, okay? Throw all your white pots in the trash. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Settle down. Settle down in the comment section. Relax your fingers. Relax your fingers. Um, they had lots of seeds. Also, it is now time for seeds and bulbs and tubers. Um, stuff like lilies and cannas and stuff like that. I swear these dogs were all sleeping and try, until I tried to do a voiceover. And now it's like World War III. Everybody's fighting over the same crap. Barking. It's insanity. I, I was really tempted. I'm going to have to do something about these dogs. I was really tempted to get some of these strawberries because um, I saw at a couple of other places like a two or three tiered planter and I thought mm, that would be so fun um, to get some strawberries. It's always hard to get enough strawberries to like actually have a serving of strawberries. You know what I mean? Um, but and I can't do potatoes because we don't have a lot of carbs. So that's why I kind of pass up a lot of this stuff. Also, Casey is, he might be going insane. I think he's a carnivore now. So it's like, who am I? It's like, am I growing lettuce? Well, who am I growing lettuce for? I'm growing lettuce for me, I guess. Like on the occasion that I eat it. <laughs> I don't know. They had a lot of those Jiffy greenhouse sets, which by the way, if you're a beginner with seeds and stuff like that, those are excellent to get. I think I would just move past them myself. Um, and last year I bought blackberry and raspberries and never saw, never saw nary a berry because they died outside. So I am going to pass on trying that one again until we get some sort of automatic irrigation system set up. It's just a no go for me, which me and Casey have been talking about that a lot. Free foot shot there. I've got weird looking toes. You're welcome. Um, they have greenhouses here, which I thought was really cool. I'll show you one in just a minute. But anyways, we've been talking about how most of my stuff in the house for houseplants just needs to be automated and hooked up to fish tanks because your girl can't be trusted. Look at this gorgeous egg chair, $698. I just bought two papasans for my plant room. Okay. Um, because we had to move the love seat back into the main living room because for like super bowl sunday we had like a bunch of company over and i was like okay these little papasans are so cute but i much rather would have had that egg chair wouldn't that have been cute i would have had to put it on a payment plan in this economy are you kidding me all right so here's the greenhouse which i don't remember them having this ever set up last year but i may be on drugs well, I'm probably on drugs, but um, this is, I just thought it was really cool how they had it all set up. It's 70 bucks, essentially $69.98. And I would definitely recommend it if you're starting seeds out, you know, like outdoors or even indoors with your lighting and, and, or if you're like in anthuriums or philodendrons and stuff like that, those little greenhouses work just fine. You know, if you want to be more bougie, you can. Um, this is the one cute little orchid I saw. Um, it was fabulously cute, but I know that I have one living or I have a lot of my orchids living and I'm pretty sure I have one just like that. So they usually have this little middle island section, um, some palms and some snake plants. That's a fake fiddle leaf fig. I thought, wow, that looks so good. <laughs> there was like a, um, a whatchamacallit, um, on the other side, a eucalyptus on the other side that fooled me. But yeah, I don't know. It's just the same stuff. I'm just getting tired of coming to Lowe's and seeing the same thing. Maybe it's just my area and I need to like go to uh, Northwest Arkansas Lowe's and check theirs out. You know what I mean? Because they're just wearing me out with it. Same pots, same, 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 you know? 
Oh, we got to do our Monstera check. Winston, come here. Come here. Quit scratching on that. Come here. We got to do our Monstera check to make sure that we we don't find a in the, you know, uh, store variegated Monstera. Still never have. Still looking for my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Nope. None of them there. So just a bunch of uh, hard water stains unfortunately and there's some dumb canes and things like that that's the fake eucalyptus that i thought for a second i was like hey that's kind of nice and then i was like oh it's not real <laughs> but it, it's still cute i might consider getting something like that for places in my house that are just dark as hell because it still would like i would still would like to like make it look nice with plants you know um here's something new um 25 bucks essentially for that that little um three-tiered thing and all these look these designs over here that are a little more expensive and i think all these designs are made for the indoor outdoor so like they're frost protected or whatever like this cute ass bubbly designed pot um, all of those are like really heavy, so they're kind of like more for outdoor. And the pillow collection is new. They seemed like they had like three different sections, like colorful, and then they had the blues um, and navy blues, and also that bubble pot in uh, a blue color, which I thought was really nice. Lots of different um, cute stuff over here. And I've gotten one of these like rattan planters right here, and it works great in the house because I have a boy named Winston who's a French bulldog, if you're new to my channel. And he sometimes still tries to pee on my stuff. So it's great for being able to wash it off. You know, everything has to be wiped down from like six inches up and below because I have a, a dog with a very bad habit. So that was all that was on the inside. I mean, like I said, they really need to switch up their pot game. And I have like run out of options for local places. So the next place that I go will be the next town over to the next nursery. But I saw these, um, uh, whatchamacallit, golf carts out front. And I was like, hey, only $10,000. And this too can be yours. I fantasize sometimes about, um, tripped over on words about, you know, driving around my neighborhood and went. Oh, and they also had some of their herbs out. So if you are an herb gardener and you are unaware that they already have them out, they definitely already have them out. And they had, these are the roses I was telling you about before. And I was checking, I like to always look because the names, I love the names, like gold medal, um, I don't know, what was that one? I can't remember, there was some other ones really cute with the pansies and stuff, but on the roses, I like to check and make sure that this says strong fragrance, you know? So like I tried some new uh, Kiss self adhesive, self adhesive lash clusters today. And I'm not sure if I absolutely hate them or if I just put them in completely the wrong place in my eyes, but so far not a fan. We'll update. Well, that was Lowe's. I was pretty disappointed. They didn't have a lot of stuff there yet. Um, one little teeny tiny baby orchid and all that. I don't even know if it's really orchid season. That's just, I know that's what like can survive my being a shithead. This guy's going to load up like right next to me. Um, but yeah, just not tons of seeds and stuff. I still have my sunflower seeds ready to go. Um, and I've got a bag of potting soil, so I am ready to plant those suckers up. But yeah, that's it. That was my little health update and Lowe's run so that you and I could see like what they had thus far. Um, not much. That's what they've got thus far. So I will catch you guys on the next video. I love you guys. Peace out. Later taters. Bye.